Hey everyone, this video today is going to be more maybe of a rant or something like that where we're going to talk about what's been going on this past week and this stuff that's been really bugging me and really affecting a lot of people that I know both in the field and personal friends and this is just a really nice way to uh, work through the stuff. Also raise awareness as to what's been really going on in the museum world uh, even recently and uh, in the past couple of years and how we need to really change our approach to maintaining the safety of our cultural history and that is to deal with right now the museum fire in Rio that happened last weekend. So last Sunday on September 2nd 2018 there was a fire at the National Museum of Brazil in Rio de Janeiro and that fire ran for six hours straight and almost 90% or more of the museum's artifacts have been destroyed and here is why it mattered. The museum itself was founded in 1818 and is Brazil's oldest scientific institution. In fact it's one of the largest and most renowned museums in Latin America today and it housed over 20 million artifacts. 20 million of them. That is a ridiculous number of things to have in a museum and the amount of knowledge that was in there was absolutely incredible. It was the largest natural history museum in Latin America and has most, the most amazing cultural and scientifically valuable artifacts there. Pretty much everything that was lost in this museum is absolutely irreplaceable. Every artifact that is lost is actually absolutely irreplaceable. Even if there are 80 million of them like it, if one goes, that is the, you know, there's something significant and individual about every single artifact that is found. And if it's gone, it's gone forever. You cannot replace anything, even if you find something similar. So all of these artifacts are absolutely indispensable to our known cultural history and they're absolutely gone. The museum's collection of indigenous Brazilian art and artifacts is absolutely gone and that told the entire story of the daily life in the first encounters of the Europeans. That is an immensely important moment in Brazilian and European history, the world history in general. There is Lucia, so is the head and the pelvis of an 11,500 year old human being that is gone. But those bones are actually thought to be the oldest human remains in Latin America. The dinosaur named the Mexicalosaurus is also completely destroyed. It was one of the most amazing pieces. It was one of the biggest, most important artifacts in the museum there. And also Latin America's oldest collection of Egyptian mummies was also believed to be completely destroyed in this fire. Now that's just um, the artifacts and things that were inside of the building. We're not even talking about the building itself because the building itself has amazing historical value as well. It held the exiled Portuguese royal family when they were fleeing Napoleon and they stayed there for about 20 years or so. The complex also served as the palace for, Brazil, for Brazil's post-independence emperors until 1889 before the museum's collections were moved there in 1902. So it's an amazing cultural uh, building just in itself. The site itself is something amazing for Brazilian and world history but also the artifacts that were inside it were uh, just even added to that whole point of how important this was. Uh, the museum's herbarium, some of the vertebrae, and the main library were housed in a different building so they were safe but uh, together reportedly uh, with everything accounted for that's only about 10% of what the museum actually held. They're still trying to put together a list of exactly what was lost and what still survives but generally we, d uh, we do think that n there definitely is 90% of this cultural heritage is just completely gone. It just like that, like freaking Thanos in Avengers, just snaps his fingers, apps, everything is gone, and nothing is left, and you can't. There's no way to replace anything like that ever. The, the vice director himself, uh, Luis Duarte, I probably mispronounced that name, but he himself was even quoted saying that it is an unbearable catastrophe. It's 200 years of this country's heritage, 200 years of memory, 200 years of science, 200 years of culture and education. 200 years just completely wiped out, erased from the map of history. And a lot of the reason that this fire actually happened is because of budget cuts, which is something that I, all museums have to deal with. Every cultural institution, every sort of heritage site always has to deal with a very restricted, tight budget. This is what happens when we have budget cuts to such important sites like this. 
Look at what can happen, the risk that we take when we don't fund things properly. And that's what I really want to get into with this video today is the importance of funding museums, funding cultural heritage, funding history, funding the arts, because look what can happen if you don't fund something properly. Over the past five years, the National Museum of Brazil faced severe cuts and they didn't even get their full allotted amount of funds from the Federal University of Rio. Um, and it was also recently forced to actually crowdfund money in order to build a new stand for the Maxicalosaurus dinosaur. They had to crowdfund it because it was already, it was infested with termites, this stand. And experts were warning for years about the risk of a serious fire to this building and nothing could be done about it because they couldn't afford to install uh, proper fire protection sequences to this museum because of all these budget cuts. One of the major issues appears to be like the lack of an actual sprinkler system. There was no sprinkler system in this museum. There was a modernization plan um, that was just agreed upon in June to have included with modern fire prevention, fire prevention equipment, but it was only supposed to be installed after October's elections in Brazil. We were just too late. We were too late to stop it. It's not the first time in recent years that a museum or a cultural institution has had a major loss like this. In January of this year, much of Indonesia's Maritime Museum in Jakarta, which contained Dutch East India trading ship models and cannons, that was completely gutted. In July of last year, in July 2017, hundreds of objects were destroyed at the Maritime Museum in Tahitu, France, including three paintings from the Louvre. In April 2016, there were really a lot of rare specimens of flora and fauna destroyed at the uh, National Museum of Natural History in Delhi, India. In October 2014, Cuddy Sark, which is one of the world's largest tea clippers uh, to be built, is was damaged by a fire in London, and it's the second time that it's been damaged in seven years. The list can go on and on, all because we don't have the resources, people haven't been funding the resources in order to protect these monuments and these pieces of art. And, you know, emergencies can happen, of course. You know, accidents, things, complete flukes, even if you are prepared for it, anything can happen to a place. A disaster can strike anywhere you go, you know, no matter how prepared you are for it, it can happen. But the fact is that if we don't fund cultural institutions, if we don't fund museums, we have no way of even trying to protect our shared cultural history. Here's the thing, like museums aren't about things. They're about people. They're about our shared cultural heritage, the history that made us who we all are today. It's a place to tell stories, our stories, our collected shared stories of the world, history of the world, places that we can learn about the past, learn from the past, and collectively grow from it and reach new heights. People have made or found all of the things that we find in museums. And funding museums isn't just about protecting things, it's about protecting ourselves. Museums are living places. They're filled with the things that define who we are. And if we let them fall by the wayside, we will become equally lost. We won't remember where we come from, and we especially won't know where we're going. When we lose a museum, we lose a little bit of who we are. That is my rant about the um, horrible events that happened in Rio last week. I hope everyone at home watching can kind of understand where I'm coming from when I'm really trying to push the fact that we need to fund museums more, kind of take them a little bit more seriously, push to protect our cultural heritage, because things like this in Rio don't just happen in in you know South America or in Brazil, they can happen all over the world. And if we don't do something about this, if we don't fund places in order to protect them as much as best as we can, then we everyone's cultural heritage is at risk, and everything can be gone. And you know it's a very important thing. So what I'm asking for you guys to do is, you know, it doesn't have to be much, doesn't have to be anything. You can even just go and pay buy a ticket to go to a museum, but either donate some, donate a little bit to a museum, become a member, visit a museum, pay for a museum admission ticket, even if you're not going in, if you've been there a million times before, just show your support 
to your local culture heritage institution. Get out there, explore, you'll learn something you've never learned before. You'll appreciate the history that's there. You'll kind of realize that there's so much out there to learn. Museums are amazing little treasure troves of history and culture and knowledge and it's oh, and they're fun and they're so important and we really need to make sure that we're doing something about this so we don't have another devastating news story to wake up to in the morning. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe to my channel. If you need a recommendation on a museum, I am happy to give you one. I am a big museum fiend. I even have a, a separate website as well that I do museum reviews on. So if you're feeling like getting out there, I am there. I can help you out. And I'm just, you know, I'm going to go to a museum today. Go show your museum some love and, you know, make sure that you support the cultural heritage. If you see someone who works in a museum, shake their hand and say thank you very much for keeping our history safe. That's me, you guys. I'm signing off and have a lovely weekend.